Hello Creative Mind, welcome home. I am Survival and today I will be showing you how you can make a, a website in just few minutes. And the website that you will be making, both the hosting, everything is completely free of charge. And you, it doesn't need any professionality or any idea of how to use both the, the uh, programming language, either the front end or back end, the CSS, I mean the HTML, the CSS, JavaScript, PHP, MySQL, W3 CSS, and Bootstrap and all that. You don't need it. You don't even need any idea of designing website in order to make website. So in this training, I'm going to show you how to make simple websites free of charge and you know what it won't take you more than 10 minutes making this website with ease so without wasting much time let's get to work so open up your browsers and then we go to render forest render forest dot com Actually, in my previous uh, tutorials, I showed you how you can use this site in making presentation, whiteboard animation, logo animation, and what have you. Today, we'll be making websites on this, uh, on this uh, same site, and I'll be showing you not just how to make the website, but how to also manage the website. So here we go. We are on, on the site already. So click on Get Started. But for you to use this, you must have logged in to this account. Make sure you are logged in. If you are not logged in at a point, it might tell you to, to like log in using your Facebook or your Google, your Google account. So I've always been logged in. I used my Google account in logging in. So in case it asks you of that, just note that you need to log in in order to do one or two things on the site. So now, having clicked on Get Started, we go to Websites. You click on Websites. So this is Websites, as you can see it, Simplified Website Builder in your browser. It's just the way it is written here. It is simplified. And you just do that in your browser without any idea of any uh, programming language so you click on start creating which i've just clicked now so we are on start creating okay you see one good thing about this render forest is this it gives you a lot of already designed templates already designed templates in different fields it covers at least the the major skill the major fields anyone will want to make a design on so you have templates there that you can just design you see this one is for online fitness training let's explore more designer cv ui and ux designer cv this one minimalist wedding invitation you can see it here this one web developer cv you can see this handy service Handy serv handyman service, advertising agency, social marketing, coming soon, food delivery, and lots more. So let's just pick one. Okay, let's go for this. Uh, okay, let's keep scrolling. Maybe we'll see the one that is a bit relevant to what we are doing. Okay. So, music festival, span, financial, okay, yoga center, okay, let's go for this designer portfolio, I'm a designer, so I think I will want to go for it, 
So it's loading the templates. The template is loading. So this is it. Here you can add in your logo. I just clicked on it. In the previous classes, I showed you how to use this media library. I've already added some pictures there, so no need of uploading pictures from my gallery. I'll just pick one from my media gallery and place it there as my logo. So I'll go with this, my logo to PNG. I'll click on it and then click on insert. insert. Okay, that's my logo there. So my text, what should I put? Learn from the experts. Okay, let me just put the experts. Okay. So coming down here again, I will put in... Mm, learn with ease. Okay. I think I'm okay with what I'm having there. So you can actually edit. Okay, I think that this one is a picture. Even at that, you can edit it. You can change colors here. You see it, my color is already changing. You can change it to this. You can change it to this. Okay. So you can put in anything here. Okay, let me put we are experts. Okay. Learn from the experts. Okay, let me put it. Okay. Learn from the experts. Okay. So here you can edit all of this. Okay, let me say I am survivor. Welcome to Welcome to my portfolio. You can actually put up any write up you want there. So let me just put up this. I'm only editing. I'm survivor. So you can put in about yourself here. I think this one is okay by me. If I'm this one is okay by me. So here again you can change colors. You can add components here. When you click add component, it will give you option to, to add some of these features. It's still loading. You see it's exterior design. Just, they are already the simplified templates you can select from. Yeah, you can add this. You can still edit all those things. You just add some of these beautiful designs. So that's what add component does. But since I don't need it, I'll close it here. And go back to my design. Okay, you can edit all this. Here you can change color. But I think I love the white color. The black is too much here. I'll go for the white. Okay, you can choose anything to edit here. You can just edit anything here. Anyone you click, you edit and add your own text. That is how it works. So, I'm also good in Adobe Illustrator. My books, I use Illustrator and InDesign and writing it. I'm good in Adobe Photoshop. I'm also good, this is the InDesign. So, this is it. I'm trying to add link okay showing me photo
Okay, I think the what you do is you just add images. I just added this image now. So that's how it works. You can add text on top. And that is it. You can edit all this to suit your test. So once you are done doing that, you go to preview. Actually, maybe you made a mistake you want to correct. This arrow here is undo. The arrow pointing backwards, this one that I just clicked is undo. So this one is redo. So the next one here is redo. So now when you are done making your corrections, you click on preview. So this is what the preview looks like. You can see my logo up here, the expert, learn with ease. You can see it learned from the experts. I am survival. Welcome to my portfolio. You can see it's best of my works. So this is what the preview looks like. Okay. So this is what the preview looks like. So after previewing it, the next thing you do is you go back to editing. So now that you are back to editing, the next thing again is just to publish. And with that, your website will be on A. So now I'm publishing it and it's loading. You can see it's free plan, forever free. And it's forever free. So you see it here, you have free renderforestsite.com sub, subdomain, renderforest branding. You have 300 MB storage. So this is the premium web service. Here you can connect your own domain. You have five gig storage, uh, fast, reliable. You can just read up on that. But I think it's cheap and very much affordable. Five dollar. No, yeah, I think it's equally affordable if you can afford it. So for we that go for free plans or free things, you just click on this uh, publish. Okay. Actually, when you are on free, whatever name you are picking will have to go with, to have to go with uh, Render Forest. That is, Render Forest will be added to read. So we now have a free website, and it's fetching data. So I'm waiting for it to load. Sorry, so we are free website now and it is exporting it to the cloud. We are waiting for it. So our site is successfully exported. We can rename that. So now, this is how we do it. You click on these three dots here. With that, you click on rename. So let's call it tutorial. So let's call it tutorial. Okay. So we named it tutorial and we can edit this. So now take a good look at this website. You see it's HTTP uh, column. You see slash slash 8661061 dot whatever whatever. Those things, they are not something that one can easily memorize. So you can actually change that and maybe put in your name or your company name or whatsoever. But just mind you, whatever you are putting in there will still have the dot .renderforestsite.com. So now to change this uh, link, what we have to do is to click on this attach domain. So you click on attach domain. So, attach domain is loading. So, now in this attach domain, now you can change the name of the website. So, you see it to configure your own domain. This is it. You can just simply copy this and use it as your website. But if you don't want to use that as your website, you can always change it. So, this is. 
this is how you change it to change this uh, long number here what you need to do is just to scroll down come down here to free subdomain and just put in your name let's say s creativity let's call it s Cre creativity tutor s creativity tutor okay so this one will now have s creativity tutor dot com so with that you can get your own you can get a free domain so this is it so but how you get your free domain is just you click on this view your website and with that it saves successfully you get in free domain so after doing this after so after getting your free domain here which is known as creativity tutor .com, you can just come up here now and copy it you see it i click on copy and then let's test it to know if it will actually work i'm creating a new i'm going to a new tab and i'll paste it there this is it s creativity tutor .com. so i'll click on it so you see it's loading you see this is exactly my site i just created this site now in how many minutes in few minutes so this is it this is the site i just created you can see it very simple and easy so this is how you create a website on render forest so for your assignments try to create a website using render forest so thank you so much for watching see you next class god bless you